What's going on guys? It's your boy DJ Scandalous here and we're back with an all new episode of Scandalous Talk. For this podcast or any podcast, you can check them all out on anchor.fm slash Scandalous Talk, on Spotify under DJ Scandalous or under Scandalous Talk, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Radio Public, and all the other podcast hosts and websites. Anyways guys, let's get into this article where Ice-T talks about the very first time that he met Eminem. Alright, so this is from allpress.com and the title reads... Ice-T recalls meeting Eminem on a Warped Tour. Kids were booing him. Now, if you don't know who Ice-T is, you need to really go back and educate yourself because this guy is one of the godfathers, one of the pioneers of gangster rap. Is easily the most metal rapper of all time from his work with Body Count to his fandom of heavy acts, but a lot of people forget he also hopped on a Warped Tour back in 1999. Also, guys, if you're familiar with Jay-Z that dropped 99 Problems, type in Ice-T 99 Problems, and you'll see where Jay-Z totally got the whole concept of his whole song, the whole hook from Ice-T. And Ice-T actually remade that song under like a rock version of Jay-Z's beat, probably around like 2004, 2005. All the reporters were coming up saying that Ice-T stole Jay-Z's song and everything like that. But then he had to remind them that he made the song originally back in the 80s. Anyways, let's get into this article. In a new interview with Hot New Hip Hop, The rapper discussed new music, his role in Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, metal as a whole, and mostly notably, how he first met Eminem. Ice-T goes on to say, I met Eminem when he was on a Warped Tour and the white kids were booing him. The white kids were throwing shit at him. That's when they used to use the term wigger. They didn't like him because it was a punk rock tour. Now I was out there rapping, they didn't have a problem with me or Black Eyed Peas before Franny. But when he got up there, they felt like it was okay to be disrespectful. And I watched him weather that storm, says Ice-T. Ice continued by saying he wanted to understand why Eminem wanted to be on the Warped Tour and ultimately learned he was working on building a legacy. I asked him back then, I said, what do you want out of this? He said, well I want to be around like you and Dre. Way back then he was concerned about longevity. And he was always a supernatural rapper, he was incredible. But was he going to be able to weather a storm? Now the white kids love him, but he had to pay his dues. It's funny though, not funny. But he was getting more attention from the white audience than the black audience. Also guys, we got this article about Eminem on Complex.com where Nick Cannon goes in about how he felt way back when Eminem was dissing Nick Cannon and Nick Cannon was dissing him back over Mariah Carey. The title reads, Nick Cannon on beef with Eminem after Mariah Carey diss, I wasn't looking for him. So this is going to go over how Nick Cannon felt back then and how he feels now. And what he says is, Cannon starts off by painting the scene of how the beef came to his attention. Think about it, I think we were flying on a jet from Africa to somewhere, and this motherfucker drops a song talking shit. Calling Mariah all types of bitches and hoes, Cannon recalls, I'm like, that's my wife, my new wife. Although he stated that he was down with anything that Eminem wanted to do, Cannon admits that taking things to wax wasn't his preferred medium. I went looking for him, Cannon continues, around two minutes into the clip. I called managers, I gotta show my wife I'm a man, I said. I know I'm not gonna be able to out-rap you, but I will whoop your ass. These were the exact words at the time, cooler heads prevail. Now that all parties have moved on from the situation, Cannon claims that he's invited M to come on while I'm out and have some fun with it all. But seriously guys, you think Nick Cannon would roll up on Eminem like that and challenge him to a fight? I mean, look at him. (laughs) I can't picture that at all. What is he gonna do? Oh, yo, yo, be rabbit. Let's take this to eight mile. And you know Eminem's gonna have 50 Cent or Royce 5'9 behind him if it has to be some gangster shit, you know? I mean, at least he could, you know, holler out B-Rabbit and took it to 8 Mile and have a rap battle. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode on Eminem. Hope you guys check out my other episodes on Eminem and Tupac and the hip-hop beef and everything else. You can check it out on YouTube.com slash Scandalous Talk as well as on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and all the other ones. Peace out.